Welcome viewers of exciting archaeology news. From grand pyramids rising against desert sands to crumbling cities veiled by jungle vines, the whispers of ancient civilizations echo across the ages. Along the fertile banks of the Nile, in the valley of the Indus, and among the rivers of Mesopotamia, the foundations of human innovation were laid. These aren't just echoes of a distant past, though. They tell the story of ingenuity, ambition, and the timeless human drive to build, create, and understand the world around us. We often imagine the early humans as primitive, their world devoid of the complexities of our own. Yet, a more magnificent tale unfolds with every unearthed artifact and deciphered inscription. Intricate cities, astonishing feats of engineering, and rich artistic expression paint a picture far brighter than we often give credit for. So prepare to set aside preconceptions. Are you ready to journey back in time and uncover the brilliance of the world's oldest civilizations? Let's begin with Mesopotamia, where law and timekeeping were born. Between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers lay Mesopotamia, an ancient region often heralded as the cradle of civilization. This fertile land spawned some of the earliest cities like Sumer, Akkad, and Babylon, shaping the foundations of urban life as we know it. Emerging around 35,000 BCE, Mesopotamia left an enduring mark with its advancements in multiple spheres. For instance, under King Hammurabi's rule, Babylon developed a Hammurabi Code, one of history's most comprehensive legal systems. This code established regulations and punishments for various offenses, providing a blueprint for modern legal frameworks. Mesopotamians also revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos and mathematics. Through meticulous observation of the heavens, they pioneered innovations in astronomy and developed the concepts of 60-second minutes and 60-minute hours, units of timekeeping we still faithfully use today. Arguably, their most celebrated breakthrough was the development of cuneiform, among the first known writing systems. From laws to tales like the Epic of Gilgamesh, narratives have flowed in wedge-shaped markings, influencing numerous written languages that followed. Next, the Indus Valley, urbanization and precision in ancient South Asia. Stretching across present-day northwest India, Pakistan, and parts of Afghanistan, the Indus Valley civilization is one of humanity's earliest urban societies. This vast civilization, among the three Old World cradles alongside Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, peaked between 2600 BC and 1900 BC. It thrived along the fertile plains of the Indus and Gagar Hakra river systems, earning the names Harappan Civilization and Mohenjo-Daro Civilization after key excavation sites. The Indus Valley people achieved unprecedented sophistication, evident in their carefully planned cities and bustling urban centers. Astonishingly, precise systems for measuring length, mass, and time speak volumes about their technical prowess. Archaeological finds further emphasize their artistry and innovation in crafts. However, its potential legacy sets the Indus Valley civilization apart, seeding many facets of future cultures throughout the Indian subcontinent. The Roman Empire, building on republic to rule the Mediterranean. From its origins as a republic, Rome became one of history's most formidable empires. The transition began in the first century BCE during civil unrest, marked by Julius Caesar's power grab and eventual assassination. Caesar's nephew Octavian emerged victorious in the ensuing conflict, becoming Augustus, Rome's first emperor. His rule heralded an era of stability and initiated the Principate system, balancing republican elements with an increasingly monarchical core. Though emperors wielded vast power, figures like Augustus were careful to create successions for a smooth transition of leadership. After Tiberius of the Julio-Claudian dynasty came to the unpredictable terrors of Caligula and the excesses of Nero, the Flavian dynasty brought some degree of restoration before a chaotic century filled with power struggles, economic hardship, and relentless attacks from outside forces. However, periods of recovery also surfaced. Diocletian's reforms reorganized the empire and temporarily fended off collapse. Constantine the Great brought further change, moving the imperial capital to Byzantium and granting toleration, then favor to Christianity, permanently altering the empire's religious landscape. Despite these efforts, by the late 4th century CE, the empire was divided into an east and west. 
While the eastern portion thrived as the Byzantine Empire, the west crumbled under barbarian invasions and economic decline, and Rome herself was sacked by the Visigoths in 410 CE. Yet, Rome's legacy was profound. Its armies, laws, engineering marvels like roads and aqueducts, architecture, and the Latin language have all left lasting marks on the Western world. The Persian Empire, a multi-dynastic power spanning continents. In modern-day Iran, a rich series of dynasties collectively formed the Persian Empire. Beginning around 550 BCE, Cyrus the Great, leader of a semi-nomadic tribe, initiated an era of conquest to create the colossal Archimenid Empire. Encompassing Mesopotamia, Egypt's Nile Valley, and stretches of India, it became a global superpower renowned for its cultural exchange, vast territories, and innovative governance. Later, rulers like Darius the Great unified the empire with standardized currency, language, and infrastructure systems. His ambitious building projects and administrative skills were vital to Persia's success. Persian art remains highly esteemed, from metalwork and intricate carpets to monumental stone carvings like those at Persepolis. Yet, Zoroastrianism, an ancient monotheistic faith, significantly shaped the early empire. Known for tolerant rulers like Cyrus, Persians generally allowed varied religious and cultural practices across their dominion. However, Alexander the Great's 4th century BCE victories ended the Archimenid period, and subsequent Iranian dynasties sought to revive portions of this impressive empire, their influence reverberating into later periods. Ancient Greece, Philosophy, Polis, and Enduring Influence Emerging from the Mycenaean period, ancient Greece was never a single empire, but a collection of fiercely independent city-states known as the Polis. Thinkers in these centers, like Athens and Sparta, broke barriers in philosophy, drama, and the idea of citizenship. Athens saw the rise of democracy. However, it was limited in scope, while Sparta's martial focus contrasted sharply. From Homer's epics to the reasoned arguments of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, Greek minds grappled with questions of reality, politics, and ethical life that still resonate. Architecture achieved harmonious balance in structures like the Parthenon, and Greek beauty ideals still inform Western art. This collection of rival city-states left an oversized mark on history through their profound contributions to theater, philosophy, government, and aesthetics. China Dynasties, Unification, and Innovation Born along the Yellow River Valley, Chinese civilization boasts a remarkable lineage of dynastic rule reaching deep into antiquity. The earliest surviving Chinese writing reveals a mature script used for divination. This evolved into elegant literature, philosophy, and historical records. China's Zhao dynasty marks its axial age, where influential school of thought took shape. Confucianism, emphasizing social order, coexisted with Taoism's search for harmony with nature. Early unification efforts foreshadowed later empire building. China's Han Dynasty is a golden age with a vast reach, standardized systems, and Confucian dominance. Its technological advancements, from paper to refined silks, left a global mark. Later dynasties like the Tang and Ming saw periods of strength and influence. Throughout the ebb and flow of dynasties, an indelible culture shaped by Confucian values, innovative spirit, and masterpieces in literature and the arts has profoundly influenced internal development and surrounding cultures for centuries. Next, the Maya, astronomers and architects of the jungle. In the humid embrace of the Central American rainforest, a remarkable civilization emerged, the Maya. Spanning centuries and encompassing territory in modern-day southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador, the Maya were builders and thinkers on a monumental scale. While they never formed a unified empire, their influence radiated from independent city-states such as Tikal, Palenque, and Chichen Itza. These centers buzzed with life, palaces, plazas, and towering pyramids punctuating the jungle canopy. Maya cities held the key to celestial knowledge. Skilled astronomers observed the movement of the heavens, building their intricate calendar system around these celestial cycles. Hieroglyphic texts, carved onto stone or painted on pottery and bark paper, reveal myths, chronicles of war and peace, and the lives of powerful rulers. The Maya even cultivated a thrilling ball game with high stakes, sometimes connected to sacred ritual sacrifice. 
During their classic period, 200 to 900 CE, Maya society reached its pinnacle, but decline was on the horizon. A complex web of factors destabilized once great centers, including drought, internal strife, and overpopulation. Though many cities were abandoned, Maya culture never thoroughly vanished. Their descendants preserve elements of their rich heritage, keeping ancient traditions alive amidst the ever-present legacy of their forebears. Ancient Egypt, Pharaohs, Pyramids, and the Eternal Nile Egypt, cradled by the fertile Nile River in northeastern Africa, has cast a long, captivating shadow over history. Over thousands of years, a centralized kingdom arose, guided by pharaohs, god-kings ruling with absolute power. Monumental pyramids reached skyward from the scorching desert as eternal beacons of royal might. These immense tombs spoke of an unwavering belief in a smooth transition to the afterlife. In the shadow of the pyramids, elaborate temples became theaters for ancient rituals. Egyptian hieroglyphs, beautiful and meticulous, adorned both temple walls and precious scrolls on papyrus. They recounted tales of mighty deities like Isis, the mother goddess, Horus, the falcon-headed protector, and Ra, the dazzling sun god. Scribes documented everything from religious practice to the kingdom's triumphs and burdens. With wealth drawn from the life-giving Nile and military campaigns, Egypt was the superpower of its age. Reaching its zenith during the New Kingdom period, 1550 to 1070 BCE. But time waits for no empire, and eventually its dominance waned. Despite internal troubles and foreign conquests, Egypt's legacy remains potent. Mummified whispers echoing from ancient tombs, monumental ruins defying the desert, and treasures sparking unending curiosity all bear witness to Egypt's timeless allure. The Inca, rulers of the Andes, in the breathtaking heights of the Andes Mountains, the Inca Empire arose, one of the Americas' most remarkable civilizations. They conquered diverse landscapes, coasts, jungles, deserts, all within a remarkably short time. Skilled architects and engineers, the Inca left their mark in monumental fortresses, sophisticated terraces that tamed the mountainsides, and an extensive network of roads that unified their vast realm. Yet, beneath the dazzling gold and intricate stonework, the Inca Empire hid internal tensions that would play a role in its demise. The Inca capital, Cuzco, pulsated with religious life. There, gleaming temples of gold and silver mirrored the Inca reverence for Inti, the sun god. Shamans and oracles were vital in Inca society, where ancestor worship guided daily rituals. Offerings and even sacrifices held sway. These acts were believed to shape nature and ensure the Inca ruler's well-being. However, this harmonious world order ultimately met with brutal disruption. The Aztec, a legend built on blood and tribute, 1325 to 1521 CE. Aztec mythology tells of a great migration, led by their warrior god. They wandered south to an island where an eagle devoured a serpent, a divine signal to build their magnificent capital, Tenochtitlan. The Aztec initially served as subjects to other city-states, but formed a powerful triple alliance in 1428 CE that dominated neighboring peoples in bloody battles. Tribute poured into Tenochtitlan, wealth gleaned from conquered lands. Central to Aztec culture was a complex calendar used for ritual and divination. Temples like the towering Templo Mayor were stages for ceremonies involving both self-sacrifice and offerings of war captives. Their world was one of stark duality, of creation and destruction ultimately intertwined. Yet, they too found their reign ended. In 1519 CE, Spanish conquistadors, drawn by tales of vast gold deposits, swept in. Led by the unrelenting Cortes, they sought conquest and riches. Although met by Aztec ruler Moctezuma with gifts, treachery followed. Battles broke out, alliances shifted, and ultimately, Tenochtitlan fell in a siege in 1521 CE. Its glory lay buried beneath the rising capital of a new colonial power. From the dense Mesoamerican jungles to the Andean peaks, these civilizations sculpted legacies etched in stone. Yet, no matter how mighty, empires often vanish when facing invasion, disease, or internal conflict. Was this collapse inevitable, or are there lessons for our modern world? Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the 10 oldest civilizations in the world. 
Leave your thoughts below. Let's spark a discussion about these fascinating ancient cultures. For more history adventures, consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and sharing with your friends. Until next time, keep exploring!